Now we'll play the third and fifth of all the chords, uh, starting with E minor. The third and fifth of an E minor are G and B, which is here on the second string, eighth fret, and first string, seventh fret. And for a G major, it's B and D. So it's here on the first string, seventh fret, and we can play the D on the first string, tenth fret. And for a D major, we have the F sharp and A, which is on the second string, seventh fret. And we have the A on the first string, fifth fret. So it'll be. And if you move the same shape down by one string, we have it for C, which is E and G. So it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. We'll try it over the backing track. play G F sharp G and a B and for a G major chord it's a B and D I can play a B the previous note to a B on the scale is an A so I'll play B A B and then to a D you can use the ring finger for a D again so for a D it's going to be F sharp E F sharp and A on the first string and uh, for C major, it's going to be uh, E, D, E, and then G. So it's going to sound like this. We'll try this over the backing track. And root of all the chords for an E minor is going to be B and E so we'll play the B on the second string 12th fret and you know where the E is for the third string 9th fret and for G major is D and G we'll play it on the first string 10th fret it's a D and G on the second string 8th fret and coming to a D major it's A and D we'll play the A on the second string 10th fret and D on the third string 7th fret for C major, it's G and C. G is on the second string, eighth fret, and C is on the third string, fifth fret. So it's going to sound like this: one, two, three, four. We'll try it over the backing track. So instead of playing just B and E like that, we'll play a B A B. The previous note of B is an A on the scale. So I'll hammer on and pull off and play an E. And for a G major, instead of playing D and G, I'll play a D C D and play a G. And for a D major, instead of playing A and D. Play A G A with the previous note of an A on the scale, and for a C major, it's going to be G F sharp G because E minor has E F sharp G A B C. There's an F sharp there, and to C. So it's going to sound like this. We 
trials over the backing track. Now we have come to the end of the minor improvisation. All that we have left to do is uh, the final touch, listen to the melody of the song and trying to find the chords and the key of the song. Now what I want you to do is take any chord progression, be it a backing track or a song, whatever you are comfortable with and try to hum the melody notes of the progression. Uh, meaning, same case, uh, I have a progression which is G, E minor, C and D. I'll try to hum the sound of the chord. So it's I hear na, 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 na. So I'll try to sing along with it. And if possible, you can also try to hum the notes and try to find that out in the fret mode. We'll start working on it in the upcoming lesson, so stay tuned.